Hello everyone, how's it going? This is Rustic Olive again, doing a little video on the new relief, relief, <laughs> release from Zershoff, um for Tony Iommi. Um, I just received this in the mail, maybe like, I don't know, less than an hour ago. It came from DHL. I bought it straight from Zershoff Universe. It was my first time ordering from them. Um, so I kind of wanted to talk about that experience. Um, they ship through DHL, which is good for international shipments. I've gotten stuff from DHL in the past. Um, unfortunately, it got held up maybe like two or three times, which kind of delayed the delivery. That was kind of disappointing, but it is what it is. What do you expect with all the situation that's happening right now and everything getting held up and bordered and customs and all that stuff. But anywho, it's here now. It's in my hands. Um, I have the box here and this is what it looks like. It also came with the little samples it allowed me to choose um just really quick it kind of slides down like this the presentation is kind of cool so i chose purple Achento, uh muse casa futura which is that other new release and torino 21 so maybe i'll talk about those later we'll see i haven't smelled those yet but yeah zershoff let's talk about this one um I'm gonna open it for the first time. I'm gonna spray it for the first time. So let's see how that goes. So, okay. It has a quote in the back too. I wanted to talk about that one. It says, if I was asked to name a perfume ingredient which well represents rock and roll from the late 60s till nowadays, I would choose a deep, earthy, musky patchouli we used for the Iomi Zershoff blend. So it says that right here in the back. That's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, let's see what this is all about. Oh man, it's tight in there. Oh, come on. Okay. So this is the black box. I've never seen one of these boxes before, so that's pretty cool. So it's the same box that you get in like the Shooting Stars collection, only it's in black. And inside we have this little booklet. It says Zershoff Blends for Tony Iommi. What is this? Let's see. Okay, so it's talking about the two new bottles that it came out with. Limited edition. Okay, so let's go through the notes. It even has the notes in here, so that's pretty cool. So head notes, bergamot from Reggio Calabria, rum, Bulgarian, and geranium. I think they meant Bulgarian rose, maybe. Bulgarian geranium. Okay, Bulgarian geranium and passion fruit. Heart notes, cinnamon, Bulgarian rose, patchouli from Singapore, leather. Base notes, it says Australian sandalwood, ambergris. Vanilla from Madagascar, tonka bean, caramel, labdanum, and musk. So it has the notes in there. Pretty cool. Um, oh, that's cool. That's different. It has a little guitar pick at the end. That's pretty cool. I like that so far. Okay, so for the actual bottle, let's check that out. So that's what the bottle looks like in the box. Looks super sexy. All black. Alright, so here's the bottle. Um, it has like a print around the bottle, if you can see that. That's pretty neat. Um, I guess that takes the place of the crystals for us with the lower budget. <laughs> so yeah, um, it has a black X, really nice. Yomi at the bottom. Okay, so a moment we've all been waiting for. Let's spray this baby. Pretty good sprayer, as usual, from Zershoff. I love their bottle sprayers. Oh, okay. That smells really nice. Right off the bat, there's a sweetness that comes through. I know that the notes listed um, 
bergamot and it listed passion fruit in there but that's kind of difficult to kind of pick out because there is a sweetness but there's also a heavy patchouli presence yeah there's a heavy patchouli presence I'm gonna let it dry down a little bit just to see what how it goes but yeah so far there's a sweetness it's probably from the tonka bean and the vanilla and there's a heavy patchouli presence there is something floral in there and it's kind of reminding me of Zerzhov's Reggio which is that black bottle I had in my previous video it kind of resembles that in a way where the notes have like a touch of floral it has that darkness in it but it's like a darkness from the patchouli it's spicy it's almost spicy there's nothing that says cinnamon 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 it's not like instead of being like a very spicy cinnamon it's like a cinnamon tea where it's just blended well together with all these other ingredients there's also something kind of green in there i wonder if that's like that citrus or something This is a definitely, this is definitely masculine. This is definitely masculine leaning. So if you want something that's masculine, sweet, patchouli heavy, and I have a feeling this is going to last forever on the skin because of that patchouli. I don't know yet. I haven't tested it the entire day. It's only been like a minute or two, but I have a feeling that this, this fragrance is going to carry on. I'm kind of curious as to like how the late dry down is going to be with the patchouli in it. Because right now, it's just really beautiful with all the different sweet aspects to it. Maybe it is the rum. There's a rum in there, I guess. Um, there's a leather note too. Does it even have leather? I don't know if it has leather, but there's like a touch of something. That feels a bit leathery, but it's not like the same leather that you find in other leather predominant perfumes. Like here, it's all about the patchouli. It's all about that sweetness and slight spiciness. It doesn't smell directly floral, but there is a floral touch in there. I think this would be a good perfume for when men have like an outing an elegant outing this is something very elegant and it really truly is reminding me of that other perfume Reggio but I think this one is much more sweeter and much more well blended because it has like more tonka it has vanilla it has rum it has all those beautiful things that I love in feminine perfumes but this smells like really masculine I, I don't know if I would be able to pull this off just because it's different to what I usually like. I don't like things that are predominantly patchouli, but I think men would pull this off perfectly. It's very elegant. And I, I know that it's supposed to be about rock and roll and stuff, but I really think it's like a sophisticated manly smell. So let me think about this. If this was really about 60s like late 60s rock and roll i can see that because i feel like this is more classic so for men who like more classic perfumes i think this is a good pick for them there's nothing really fresh in there it says it has bergamot on the top but when i first sprayed it like it was more of the sweetness that came out right away so i i wish i can do maybe like an update video later just talking about how it dried down but right now, you can kind of see it on my skin. It's Let's see if you can see Yeah, you can see it. It's still oily. It's very, like, oily. And that's a good thing. That means, because I have predominantly dry skin, I feel like this is going to be good for those of us who don't have, like, oily skin or skin that retains a lot of um, fragrances. A lot of them tend to, like, disappear quickly. But so far, it looks pretty shiny. It looks like it's going to be a long-lasting perfume. It smells really pretty, and I think it's a really good pick for men. Um, I think I'm going to have to gift this to a dude, because right now, this is really, like, patchouli heavy. Maybe I could wear it. 
I would have to really be in the mood for something like this. Like a spicy, sweet, patchouli fragrance. Really nice though. I think it was like around, how much was it with everything? Maybe like low $200 for the samples, for the shipping and everything like all together. It wasn't too bad. But yeah, I think I, I'm going to have to give this to a man. Just because I really feel like this is man in the bottom. Really sexy. I really think this is nice. It's kind of seductive in a way. Um, but not for me as a woman. But really nice bottle, you guys. If you're interested in this, definitely try sampling it. Or ask somebody who does have it for a sample. Um, presentation is ridiculously amazing. If you look at that. Gorgeous packaging. But yeah, really nice fragrance. Um... I might do these as well. Might as well, right? I'm actually curious about the Casa Futura. Only because I haven't smelled this one or the uh, Torino. I've smelled the other two. So I'm not going to worry about those two right now. I haven't smelled Muse in a long time. Since it was like from part of the Sospiro line. Uh, Purple Achenta, I think I smelled it once. But let's talk about this little sample right here. I'm going to spray it somewhere. This video is not about these, so I'm not going to go into deep thought into a sample, but it's kind of cool to get these for free. I'm going to rip a tissue out. Okay. Ooh, I like that. That's a fresh one. That's a nice one. It has citrus, but it's like a sweet citrus. It's not like that citrus I run away from that reminds me of cleaning product like this is actually super good oh, Zershoff just always does a good job I wonder if this has like it smells so good and what does it have like lavender in there or something it also has something sweet in there it's really good that one's, that one's a good one I like that one so far might have to test that on my skin later and see what, what's up with that one so this one is a Casa Futura one Hmm, let's check this baby out. Really quick spray. So while I'm doing all of this, today was a really good day. I got to see a lot of coworkers that I hadn't seen in a really long time. I got to see my boss. Thank you, boss, for the gift if you're watching this. That was really thoughtful. Um, okay, this one doesn't smell like anything. All right, so let's spray. Okay, this one's Casa Futura. So this one I was kind of interested in too. Ooh, this one's another patchouli heavy perfume and it definitely has florals in it really nice kind of spicy too <sighs> smells good i don't know if i would necessarily buy that for myself though this one smells bomb this one is <laughs> like summer, summer, summer in the bottom. Oh, so good. Okay, well, thank you for your time, you guys. If you took any benefit from this, thank you for watching. Hope you subscribe or like this video. And thank you for joining me. Bye.